What's up guys? Today we're going to be tasting Santa Fe Brewing's Adobe Igloo Winter Warmer Beer. But first we're going to learn about what makes a beer a winter warmer and how Santa Fe Brewing has made one all of their own. Let's get to it. A winter warmer is not really a specific style so much just a reference to beers made within the season. Uh, basically a stronger, sweeter, darker beer made to help deal with the chill winter. We now know that using alcohol just to feel warm is not actually a good thing, so, you know, don't chug a beer and expect it to just be warm. Uh, we'll do another video on why that's, that's the case. Anyway, over time, adjuncts like cinnamon, apples, basically anything that adds those winter flavors were added to some of the winter ales to add that warm feeling. Some of the original winter ales that didn't use hops would also be warmed uh, using the fire to add to that warmth feeling. As hops began to be introduced to these beers, adding heat was removed from the experience as it degrades the hops and makes it taste pretty awful. So if you get a winter warmer with any IBU rating, don't try warming it up. Now, we know the history of winter warmers, so let's look at the Adobe Igloo. Uh, Santa Fe describes the Adobe Igloo as a beer from New Mexico with the flavor of New Mexico inside a can that's inspired by New Mexico like a tamale inside an enchilada concealed in a burrito. It's also the most unique spin on a winter warmer you'll have all season. With subtle additions of cocoa nibs and red chile, it's New Mexico in liquid form. Awesome. So let's go over the anatomy of this beer. First off, we have the basics. Water, fermentable sugars, and yeast. The winter warmer is comprised of a big malt presence, an amber to dark color, it's about 5.5 to 8% ABV, and it can be spiced via cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, or hops, or nothing at all. Now let's see what makes the Santa Fe Adobe Igloo all its own. It's full bodied, has a deep red color, 6% ABV, has 18 IBUs, and it's brewed with cocoa nibs and New Mexican red chili. So let's pour this thing. That looks really good. It is that deep dark red. Brown almost, but not quite. Almost there. Mmm, it's got this like, definitely smells like a, a winter ale. Get a lot of that cocoa in the nose. Not really any of that red chile. I grew up with that stuff, so uh, I, I'm pretty sure I could catch it if I could on the nose, but if it's there, it's so subtle, I don't really recognize it, which I'm okay with. I don't want it to be overpowering. They did mention that it's subtle flavor adds, so I'm okay with that, but I think I think it does add to the cocoa in some way or form. I just don't know how to, to say it. It's, it's hard to capture. Hmm. All right, so let's, uh, let's go in for a sip. Mm, it's really good. Um, in their description, they said full-bodied. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. It's it's definitely got that thick feel, but it's still a little a little watery. So I wouldn't give it a full body. I'd say medium to full, somewhere in there. But the flavor is really good. You get that malt. You get that um, malty flavor from it. 
So a hint of sweetness, but not too sweet. Smooth finish, like you get that bitterness, but it just smooths out at the end, so it doesn't leave um, an aftertaste that you wouldn't, wouldn't like. You get that bite, definitely that bite at the end of the, uh, of the red chili, I'm going to assume, since the IBUs aren't too high. And that spice from that, it's really subtle, it's really nice. Very crushable, I feel like I could drink two to three of these in an hour, which is probably not a good idea. Hmm, very smooth. Very crushable. I'm not going to lie, this uh, this beer is pretty good. Uh, it's great, I would, I would say, even. It's just so easy to drink, very enjoyable. Um, Definitely get that warm feeling from a winter warmer without being too much, being overbearing. Uh, I say you should definitely try this beer. It's only $7.99 a six pack. Uh, so you don't have to worry if you don't like it. Um, give it to your friends, whatever. You didn't spend that much on it, but I think you will enjoy it and then be kind of bummed you didn't get two six packs at that price. Yeah, $7.99 at Total Wine. Very enjoyable. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and rate it on Untapped. All right, so we have the Santa Fe Brewing Company Winter Warmer, which is named the Adobe Igloo. Um, it looks like they had 6,401 check-ins, which is quite a bit. And it's rated at 3.57. I'm gonna go ahead and rate it at a solid four. Um, it's really, really good. I think I've, I've definitely had some others um, in this style that that impressed me a little bit more um, that were just absolutely delicious. Hit the style notes, um, even <laughs> even though they're pretty vague. And I I I think that a four is valuable though because also you're paying only seven ninety nine for it. So I think a four is is right where I'm at. So I'm gonna go ahead and check in. I did take a photo. Add it in a can. And we're gonna go ahead and say smooth, malty. Very subtle. Not really sweet, not really light. All right, let's check that in. All right, last but not least, let's talk about this can. This can is pretty cool. Um, I love it because it looks like a sweater with uh, a New Mexican Southwestern style. Um, I wouldn't say Southwestern so much as New Mexican. If you've ever been in that area, especially Santa Fe, you would see this particular style more often. And it looks like a sweater, which is pretty cool for a winter warmer. That totally makes sense. I think it's cool. You'll definitely notice this on the shelves. And uh, I never say buy a beer based on the, the look of its can. It's kind of like judging a book by its cover. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. In this case, if you see this beer, I think you're gonna win. I think you should try it. It's really good. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned a lot about winter warmer beers. And hopefully you'll want to try the Santa Fe Brewing Adobe Igloo. I know you will not be disappointed. Cheers.